The decision we have taken is out of care for all our athletes. We have six coming in tomorrow and about 50 athletes coming in on Tuesday. In our mind, our building is not habitable and not conducive to the performance focused environment that we are trying to create for our Australian team. I need to stress this is a decision for our athletes in our building, Building 23. Other National Olympic Committees, other buildings are in different situations and they're all making their own decisions and some are comfortable for their teams to move in and I envy them. For us, the village is a key component for the athletes' performance preparation and also part of their overall Olympic experience. I will say the rest of the village is, as I have been saying for a couple of years now, one of the best. The Welcome Centre, the Dining Hall, the Gardens and the General Ambiance is very good. We've seen much progress in our building in recent days, especially this morning. That focus and pressure though must continue. I would like to thank Rio 2016 and the IOC for the support that they have given us in our situation. All day today we've been undergoing fire safety tests, plumbing diagnostics in every room, in every apartment, on every floor and we have an action plan to try and remedy and rectify all the issues with an aim to finish this by mid-afternoon tomorrow. We have booked cleaners to start tomorrow, however based on how the uh, works are fixed, they may need to be delayed. We will stick to our plan of not allowing any Australian team member to reside in the village for the next two days. I've already personally contacted all those sports, and that's 10 of them, who had planned to come in in the next two days and advised that their plans have now changed. We also want to observe the impact of the influx and arrival of athletes from other National Olympic Committees into the village today to see how the plumbing copes with the added thousands of people coming in today. We have managed to secure other secure and safe accommodation for all our athletes and all our headquarters staff for the next two days. We'll reassess at the end of today and again tomorrow but at this stage, seeing the progress that has been made this morning already, I am reasonably confident that we will be able to enter the village on Wednesday. I certainly hope that that is the case so that we can all get on and enjoy a positive and successful Olympic sporting experience, which is what we are all here for. What I'll be encouraging, I've spoken to the team leaders of our sports, what I'll be encouraging our athletes to do is to focus on their own performance. That is our role as headquarters staff to protect our athletes from this. We have arranged very comfortable, secure and conducive environment for them, alternate environment for them to stay in. So I'm confident that their preparations will not be disrupted at all.